girly right now we're at the desert lawn cemetery here in mojave valley arizona we're not very far from bullhead city we're actually right next door we're gonna visit the grave of susan crow she played a little tracy partridge on the 1970s television program the partridge family growing up in los angeles i did not have cable television when i was a kid so we didn't get to watch the Partridge Family or reruns of it anyways, uh, the way other people would have. Uh, whatever reruns on television that were available to me were far and few in between. But the Partridge Family, if case uh, you guys don't know what that television program really was, it basically was Shirley Jones who I know as being the lady that did the Ralph's grocery commercials in Southern California. Well, I did not know as a little kid when I would always see her doing commercials that uh, she was a television star. And she had a television show called The Partridge Family, which basically it was a widow and I think her five or six children. And basically they were a band and they would go around touring and then you know, the hijinks and uh, watch as the hilarity ensues. I mean, what are they going to do next, right? And other than the Partridge family, I didn't know this, but they were quite popular in the United Kingdom as well. And they did actually produce some music and they had five uh, top 20 hits based out of the United Kingdom. The show is kind of cultish in a sense. It's very popular because it made uh, David Cassidy and... Danny Bonaducci, it made them into uh, basically uh, superstars in a sense. So Suzanne Crow played little Tracy Partridge. Now, originally how she got her started to acting was uh, she had a couple of older brothers and they were doing like little bit parts. Uh, one of them uh, had a uh, part uh, on the Andy Griffith show. And one of the producers of that television program had convinced uh, Suzanne's mother to you know, throw her kid into the uh, ring, if you will, of uh, children actors or actresses. And so I think after about three or four interviews, uh, Suzanne landed the role of the youngest Partridge family member, and that was little Tracy Partridge. And she played the tambourine in the band. I always want to call that instrument a tangerine, but a tangerine is something that you eat, not something that you play. So that show only lasted for about four seasons. And, you know, when you have a television show like that and then the ratings start decreasing, you're going to be trying to do everything you can as a writer or as a producer of the program to save that show. Now, I don't know what they were thinking, but moving your show from Friday to Saturday night so it can go up against All in the Family, well, that's going to be a losing bet, and that's exactly what happened. The ratings just fell for that program, and then they pulled the plug after four seasons. And, of course, uh, everybody scattered and went to go do their own separate things, and... Uh, of course, Tracy, uh, she would do some other kind of smaller uh, acting uh, roles. Uh, she was the voice of a couple of characters in some cartoons. In 1980, uh, she ended up buying a bookstore out in Temecula. And uh, she did that for about a dozen years. And then finally, she closed up shop and she moved out to Nevada. And uh, this is, uh, you know, that is where she ended up uh, settling down. At the time of her death, she was working at Office Max, which is basically a uh, pretty big store. They sell office supplies, uh, anything related to office stuff, office furniture, whatever you see in an office. Uh, that is uh, that is what they sell. And so tragically, uh, she died of a very unusual heart ailment. Um, I believe it's called uh, arrhythmogenic uh, right ventricular dysplasia. I probably mispronounced at least two of those words. Uh, basically, what it is is 
I guess the uh, your heart, your right ventricle in your heart, it pumps blood out throughout your body, and uh, the the uh, muscle or the tissue around it, it turns into it's like some kind of fibrous material or fat, whichever one you want to call it, and then it it, it makes the right vent contract, uh, which is not a good thing because then when your heart pumps, it, it's not, you know, you need your heart to to pump like like heavy, like not heavy, but you need it to like like get a good a good pump if you will um it's kind of like like if you i could probably use a, a better term but it's like kind of like plunging a toilet right you want good suction or what have you and when your right vent um contracts it's not pumping that good and of course if your heart is not pumping blood uh throughout your body uh you know, oftentimes it can cause uh, a variety of health elements. And that is what happened to Suzanne. Uh, she died from that, uh, which is pretty rare. I want to say it was one out of every 5,000 people suffer from that uh, heart ailment. And uh, she died very young at the age of 52. And I remember when I was 20, I'm like, oh, you know, somebody died in their 50s. Oh, they, they lived a while. No, 52 is very young. As you get older, some of you out there that are younger than me, you're going to start realizing, wow, 50 is not that old. It, it, it really is not. And uh, I had just seen her marker. And I know it is somewhere around here i had passed by it just by dumb luck because i was just walking around the area and i believe is it is over here it was to my right uh, this is her final resting place and as you can see it has the music right there but uh, that would be the only, I guess, the only uh, indicator that she, you know, had that whole Partridge family thing going. Yeah, very sad. Very, died very, very young. And, um, you know, raising your kids and just living, living your life. Uh, she died at her home. Uh, she lived in Laughlin. Uh, I think Laughlin, it might be about 30 minutes away from here. And, uh, she, of course, uh, her body was taken to the Clark County coroner's office. I don't believe uh, Laughlin has their own um, coroner's office, so that still might be in Clark County. And rest in peace, nonetheless, to Suzanne Crow Condre. Yeah, it's just a small, a small part of, but an integral part of television history. I was wondering, excuse me, I was wondering to myself if I had ever, I, you know, been out here. And when I got here, I said, no, I'd never been here because this place does not look familiar to me. So I said, OK, it's it's, an, you know, a new place. But um, immediately as I was walking down here, I noticed uh, that a grave that I remember very vividly. This was one of the uh, cemeteries that I had been to and this was one of the first cemeteries that I started doing as I was traveling around the country and uh, this marker right here I will never forget uh, this right here is Aaron Michael Contreras and Casey Joe Hurt Caudill or excuse me Cottle uh, they were boyfriend and girlfriend and they both died in a car accident on March 18th of 2013 and um they were, uh, again, like I said, they were boyfriend and girlfriend, and uh, their families had them buried together. So I thought that was a very um, touching thing to do. So as soon as I see this marker, I said, oh, of course I remember them. Of course I do. Okay, rest in peace to Suzanne, Aaron, Casey, and the rest here at this cemetery. It's very, very quiet here. Probably because it is 109 degrees, so 
people will probably be showing up here uh, later in the day when the sun sets. Okay, guys. Uh, I am out of here. Lamont at large signing out. I will see you on the next vlog. Be good, y'all. Peace out.